Two major players in the drug cartel world arrested in America. They're accused of flooding the U.S. with deadly fentanyl for decades. Fox 5's Homa Bash here now to break down what led to their capture. Homa. Tisha, federal authorities are calling this one of the biggest victories in the fight against fentanyl, and it was a fake trip that lured them here on a private plane from Mexico with American authorities waiting to arrest them on the other end. 76-year-old Ismael El Mayo Zimbada is the alleged co-founder and leader of the powerful Sinaloa drug cartel. He has evaded arrest for decades, now finally in U.S. custody, along with the son of the infamous El Chapo. Last year, I said that the Justice Department would never stop working to hold accountable those who are responsible for the fentanyl epidemic. The Sinaloa cartel is one of the largest and most violent drug trafficking organizations in Mexico, responsible for distributing fentanyl, cocaine, other drugs throughout the U.S. and Europe. Zambada boarded a private plane with another man who's also now in custody. Guzman Lopez, the son of cartel leader El Chapo, held in a maximum security prison in the U.S. after his capture. They believe they were flying to inspect property in Mexico near the U.S. border. Instead, the plane landed in El Paso, Texas, and FBI agents arrested both men as soon as they got off. Here's Attorney General Merrick Garland. Fentanyl is the deadliest drug threat our country has ever faced. The Justice Department will not rest until every single cartel leader, member, and associate responsible for poisoning our communities is held accountable. The U.S. government had offered a reward of up to $15 million for information leading to the capture of Zimbabwe. This morning, he pleaded not guilty to all federal charges brought against him. In a statement, President Biden commended law enforcement for arresting the two men and for continuing to bring Sinaloa cartel leaders to justice. Stephanie?